Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Buleli Mateba and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do flat twists on natural hair. If you're new, I hope this is the video that, you know, it... There's children in my head. Yeah, if, as I was saying, if you are new, I hope this is the video that influences you to click on that subscribe button because I think it's a relatively easy tutorial. And flat twists are like cornrows, except um, you're going to be like twisting downwards instead of you know cornrowing downwards but yeah let's get right into the video so i don't confuse you before we even so i don't confuse you before we even get anywhere guys so this is what my hair looks like right now um i had washed it maybe two or three days before so yeah i'm not gonna wash it again i'm not i'm just gonna start with the whole procedure so yeah what you're gonna need is a white tooth comb a bottle of water and a rat tail comb so i'm just bringing the water throughout my entire head to make it easier to manage and also so that when i chrome through it it does not break So I'm going to use this leave-in conditioner, it's my favorite leave-in conditioner actually and I'm just going to massage that throughout the entire head, make sure that it's really really in there, you don't want no dry hair. Um, and then what I'm going to, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my, my coconut oil and I'm going to massage that into the hair as well. It's normal coconut oil, you know, the one that you use to cook, yeah, that's the one that I'm going to use. And I'm just gonna massage that throughout the entire hair, make sure that it goes in through all the sections. So the oil is just to seal in the moisture from the leave-in conditioner. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start sectioning using the rat tail comb. My hair doesn't really tangle all that much, which is why I didn't first go and detangle with my white tooth comb before I start this whole procedure. But under normal circumstances, if let's say, for example, I had started by washing my hair, putting, you know, conditioner and all of that in, then I would have definitely um, detangled from scratch. So yeah, I'm just going to make my part, my path. What is it called? A path, a part? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to start combing through that section of hair. Make sure that, you know, it has no, not, no tangles. But like I said, I don't have to do that excessively because it tends not to tangle that much. And I'm just adding water to make the whole procedure easier and just to make my hair a bit slippery. This is my favorite um, curl custard. So I just use that little bit. Um, yeah, a little goes a long way. So I just massage that throughout the entire hair as well. And um, I just like to comb through this bit as well because it helps um, it helps the product, you know, go through the hair a bit more easier. And yeah, I just use my, I think this is called the detangle brush. I don't know. So I just, I just use that, comb that through the hair for a little bit. And then I'm going to start. Once I'm satisfied and I'm done detangling the hair, I like to separate, well, I like to take two pieces of, of hair and like I would do with a normal twist, you're gonna take the top piece of hair and you're basically just gonna put it over the other piece of hair. So the one that's on the left is gonna go, you know, over the one that was on the right. And then that's gonna be at the bottom. And then you're gonna add, you know, the rest of the hair to the one strand that's at the bottom. And then you're just gonna twist it over like that so it's like you're doing a normal twist but every time the the one piece of hair reaches the bottom then you just add more hair to it and you're basically just gonna continue twisting your hair this way until you run out of hair so the only difference between um, a flat twist and a normal twist is that every time you twist hair over another piece of hair you just add more hair to it until you basically run out of hair to flat twist if that makes sense um if my explanation isn't very clear just have a look at what i'm doing and hopefully you know that'll clarify things and you know make this whole procedure a bit more understandable i mean i am i'm not really a teacher but i i do want you to learn how to do this so yeah i'm trying my best
Okay, so once you run out of hair to add to your twist, then you're just going to twist downward like just a normal two-strand twist until you run out of hair. And basically, when I get to the end of my twist, I just like to um, wrap it around my finger, sort of like a little finger coil thingy. And voila, you've got your flat twist and this is what it should look like. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat this procedure again with a second flat twist just in case you missed it the first time But I'm gonna speed through it a bit because I mean you've already seen what it's supposed to look like So yeah, now I'm just making my path quickly and you know pushing the rest of the hair back And I'm just gonna go through that section and spray it with some water as I did before Just to make it easier to manage and it's just easier to and it looks better when it's twisted on hair that's not completely dry but is just a little damp like not dripping but like just a little damp and then i'm just gonna comb through that um make sure i don't have any you know knots then i'm gonna add my small piece of the curl cream like i did before and i'm gonna brush through it um, with my detangle detangling brush um, I just added like, like a bit more water because I felt like it was a little bit dry and it could do with a little bit extra moisture. But yeah, once I'm done with that, um, I'm basically going to start the same procedure from before. So I'm going to start by taking my two pieces of hair, um, the one that's on the left, the one that's on the right. And then I'm going to twist the one that's on the left over the one that's on the right. And then once the one that's on the right is now, you know, moving from top to bottom, then I'm going to add extra hair to it. And then I'm going to take, you know, the two hairs that I've just combined back to the top, twist the other one to the bottom and then add hair to that. And I'm basically just going to be doing that until I run out of hair to twist. So yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say it's that difficult. Um, it's just a normal twist, like I said, except you're adding hair to it this time. Um, so yeah, we're just going to twist all the way to the bottom as we had done earlier. So once again, once you're done flat twisting, you're gonna do a normal twist to end off your your little twist line thingy, and you're just gonna you know finger coil the rest of the hair around your finger, and yeah, that's it. You've got two flat twists. So I'm just gonna speed through the rest of the tutorial because I'm sure you don't want to see the same thing over and over and over and over again because you get the general gist of it. But yeah, I basically just you know did that throughout the whole hair and I didn't twist everything to the side I twisted some of it um backwards because that's how I wanted to lay and also I just felt like it would just look weird um you know all being to one side and honestly I don't think I can twist you know all the way to the back you know from one side to the other which is probably why I did it this way Okay, so my camera died before I could record, you know, the rest of it. But this is what the final product looked like. As you saw, um, you know, the loose twists were hanging on the side. So what I did was I just attached them to each other by twisting them again into each other and added these pins. Obviously, the step isn't necessary, but then um, I was headed to the store. So I needed my hair to look a little bit neat. And this is what the back looks like. So yeah. Okay, so this is the next day well evening rather and i'm undoing the hair because i was actually headed to work um i was on night shift and yeah so this is this is basically the final product 
what i like to do is i like to separate the twists you know just to make them look a bit more natural plus i don't want you know i don't like them looking all i don't like the twist out looking um too thick like having thick sections so i like to um separate some of some of the twists you know just where the hair wants to separate naturally and yeah another thing that i like to do is um after i'm done you know with the whole separation part then i like to take a comb like an afro comb a pick and i just like to use that to just thicken the hair because as you can see it looks it looks like individual little twists and yeah i i'm not a big fan of that look i mean you can go for it if that's what you're trying to go for but i don't so i just take a, a pick and then i basically just lift like the roots just a little bit so that the hair um looks fuller and thicker and yeah it gives it a bit more of a natural look yeah so as you can see i'm not combing through the entire hair i'm just you know lifting it a little bit so that i can get a fuller look So once I'm done picking at their hair with the comb, I like to basically do the same thing with my fingers just to like fluff it out and um, make the hair look the way that I want it to look basically. And yeah, that's, that's basically all there is to this. And yeah. Because the side of my hair is shaved, I don't typically wear my hair out, you know, as it is. So what I like to do is I like to create sort of like bangs. And then what I do is I'd like tie the rest of the hair um, like that. Or um, if I don't do that, then I would basically bunch the hair up at the back. Um, I'm going to show you that part just now. Um, like I was saying, um, if I don't tie the hair up, then I'd sort of like just bunch the hair at the back like this and then just secure it with a bobby pin or two. Um, just so that the hair at the back, you know, it's not hanging because I don't know, I just, I don't really particularly like the way that it looks. Then I just like, you know, add a pin and then have the rest of the hair hanging in front like so. So this is the final outcome and I was pretty satisfied with the way it looked and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye!